Hi everyone, in this video we will go through few problems related to logarithms where we have to find the number of digits in the integral part and also find number of zeros between the decimal part and the first significant figure. Let us go through the following problems. We have this question where we need to find the number of digits in the integral part of this particular number 3 to the power 20. How do we find the integral part? Integral part is nothing but the characteristic, right? Integral part is nothing but the characteristic. And we have to do use, using log table. So, 3 to the power 20, you apply log for this. When you apply log, it will be log 3 to the power 20. And you can write log 3 to the power 20 as 20 log 3. So, this is one property. Log m to the power n is n into log m. So, 3 to the power 20 is 20 log 3. So, this 20, which is the power you will have to multiply this power with log 3. Now you find log 3. So you go to logarithmic table. Find the log 3 value. Log 3 value is. So there is nothing. There is only one digit here. So go to the first column where 3 is there. And uh, there is nothing after that. So assume there is 0. So go to the 0th column. So log 3 and 0 will be 0 0.477. 0 0.477. Now we have 20 here. So you multiply 20 with this. You will get 9.540. This 9, whatever you have before the decimal point is the integral part. Now, this is the integral part, right? This is the integral part or characteristic. So, this portion is integral part or characteristic. Now, in the integral part, we have 9. So, number of digits would be 9 plus 1. This is nothing but number of digits actually. This is number of digits. How did we find the characteristic value? When we had to find the log value, how did we find the characteristic value? Using the number of digit concept, right? Number of digits minus 1 is characteristic, right? Number of digits minus 1 is characteristic. Now, here we will do the reverse. From this particular characteristic, we are finding number of digits. So, obviously, it is going to be characteristic plus 1 is the number of digits, which is 10. Characteristic was number of digits minus 1. Now, we will have to find number of digits. Right now, we'll have to find this. So it will be characteristic. When you move this one this side, it will become characteristic plus one. That's all. Right? So it's 10. Now let's take another example. We have to find 1.456 to the power 15. We have to find the number of digits here. So it will be 15 log 1.456. 15 into log 1.456. Find the log value. So we'll consider one four. First two digits, one four. Since it's log. We will always consider first two digits. doesn't matter whether decimal is there or not. So, 1, 4. Go to the row with uh, number 14. And then go to the column with number 5. Go to the mean difference column with number 6. So, you get 1, 6, 1, 4. Add it up with 18. Right? We will get 1, 6, 3, 2. Now, what will be the characteristic for this? So, what is the number of digits? Before the decimal point, we have one digit here. Right? So, 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. So, it will be 0 0.1632, 0 0.1632. So, now you multiply with 15 because it is 15 into log 1.456. When you multiply, you will get this, this value 2.448. Now, you look at this number 2 that is before the integral part. This number 2 plus 1 will be number of digits 3. We will take another example 3.546 to the part 20. Here, we have to find the number of digits in the integral part. So, this you can write as 20 log into 3.546. So, we will take 35. So, let us first find the characteristic here. So, it is 3 point. So, number of digits is 1. 1 minus 1 which is 0. So, you will get 0 point something. 0 point mantissa. Now, we will have to find mantissa in, from the log table. So, we have 35. Let us look for the row where 35 is there. Here 35. Third digit is 4. 4. From 35 you go till 4. You get 5490. 5490. 5490. And then you go to fourth digit which is 6. You come to the mean difference section 6, go to the column 6, you have number 7, add this, so you'll get 5, 4, 9, 7. So 5, 4, 9, 7 is a mantissa and the characteristic is 0, so 0 0.5497. Now you multiply this with 20 because it is 20 into log of 3.546. When you multiply, you'll get 10.994. So what is the number of digits? This characteristic 10 plus 1 is the number of digits which is 11. Now, another type of problem where we need to find the number of zeros between decimal point and first significant figure. 
between decimal point and first significant significant figure is non zero number 7 is a non zero number here so between the decimal point and the non zero number we have to find number of zeros we have 0 0.7 to the power 55 which is nothing but 55 into log of 0 0.7 right then we'll find log of 0 0.7 first let's find the characteristic number of digits before the decimal points what is the number of digits zero there's no digit right it's less than one right it's less than one so when it is less than one you'll have to find the place place in which this non-zero number is there which place it is there it is there in first place right first place so one and it is minus one right it's minus one because it is less than one so characteristic is minus one so we'll find the log value of seven now we'll have to consider seven seventy look for 70 in the log table so in the log table we'll get 845 for this number 7 we'll get 845 right now you put this characteristic so you'll get minus 1.845 now this minus 1 and 845 we'll have to split up split this split it so it'll be minus 1 plus 0 0.845 minus 1 plus 0 0.85 when you split it and into 55 because we have this 55 into log here right now when you split it multiply separately 55 into minus 1 is minus 55 55 into this much 0 0.845 is 46.475 again you split this you split this into 46 and 0 0.475 now you subtract this minus 55 plus 46 you get minus 9 and then you have this so now you join both of this so it's going to be minus 9.475 now what is the characteristic here it's minus 9. So the number of zeros would be 1 less. That is characteristic minus 1 would be number of zeros. This is the number of zeros between the decimal point and the non-zero number. So you have 8 zeros. 8 zeros are there. So you'll have to do a minus here to get the number of zeros. To get the number of digits, you'll have to add 1. To get number of zeros, you'll have to minus 1. Let's take another uh, example here. 5.63 to the power minus 8. We can write this as minus 8 into log of 5.63. Number of digits with the decimal point is 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0. So characteristic is 0. So it's going to be 0 point mantissa. Mantissa we'll have to find from the log table. So mantissa of 563. So take 56 and third column you get 7505. 7505. So 0 0.7505 is the log value. It's minus 8 log of this. So minus 8 into this. When you multiply minus 8 with this, you will get minus 6.004. Now, we cannot have a minus value. So, what we do is, we want to remove this minus value from this mantissa section. From mantissa section, we should not have minus. Now, this is mantissa section. Now, there is minus here, right? We should remove this minus. What do we do? We will take one number extra. We have 6. Add one number extra, 7, right? You add and subtract. Plus 7 minus 7. Plus 7 minus 7. You add and subtract. Because plus 7 minus 7 is going to be 0. So there is no harm adding and subtracting with this entire number. So plus 7 minus 7 minus 6.004. Now what you will do? You will take this positive number 7. Right? And then you subtract with this 6.004. When you subtract 7 with this, you will get this one. 0 0.996. And then you then you'll be left with minus 7. Minus 7 plus 0 0.996. Right? So now I can write minus 7 as characteristic and 0 0.996 as mantissa. So now this characteristic minus 1 will be the number of zeros. Right? So don't get confused. If you have to find number of digits, then it is characteristic plus 1. If you have to find number of zeros, then it is characteristic minus 1. Okay. And the reason we are adding this, the reason we are doing this is, see we, we now, since we have multiplied this minus 8 with this entire number, this became negative. Right. Because we have multiplied this entire thing with negative, this mantisa became negative. We cannot have a negative mantisa. Remember all the, always, we cannot have a negative mantisa. We can have negative characteristic, but we can't have negative mantisa. That is why we want to somehow make this number positive. What we do, we add one number, which is greater than this. So we, when you multiply, you'll get 6 here. So you add 1 to it, so 7, and subtract, right? And then you minus it with this. Now when you minus with this, 
you will be separating out you see that you will get you will get the 0.996 and then you will be left with minus 7 so the 0.996 becomes the mantissa now see mantissa is positive it's plus mantissa is positive and this becomes a characteristic right that's why we are doing all these uh, roundabout trick right so now we got the characteristic which is 7 minus 1 is 6 so there are 6 zeros from decimal point to the significant figure significant figure is non zero number from decimal point to the non zero number you have 6 zeros this way with this we have come to the end of this particular topic if you have found this video useful do press a like and share it thank you